Hello, uh, my name is Isabella Falbo. I am the new employee here at Venby Art Gallery. Um, I took over the uh, Serena Corson's position uh, as she is moving on to really new and exciting adventures. Um, but I am gonna be continuing her alluring artist series that she started on our YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull up the PowerPoint. Okay. Okay, so the artist that I'm gonna be covering today, uh, her name is Lola Flash. Um, and this is our third episode of Alluring Artists. If you haven't seen the first two, go ahead and check those out on our channel as well. Okay, so a little background on this artist. She was born in 1959 in Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, she is a queer African American and Native American photographer uh, whose work is rooted in social justice advocacy and uh, surrounding sexual, racial, and cultural differences. She works mainly in portraiture, although she does do some landscape photography as well, uh, but she works on a four by five film camera, quote, engaging those who are often deemed invisible. So she's really known for her activism surrounding a lot of these issues. Um, and this here on the left is a portrait, a self-portrait of hers uh, titled Syzygy 2, which I will go into a little bit more uh, in just a bit. So to cover her early career, uh, she got her Bachelor of Arts uh, from the Maryland Institute College of Art uh, and then went on to uh, London to at the London College of Printing and got her M Master of Arts there. Um, and then her beginning work, her first series uh, kind of surrounded the AIDS epidemic and the issues during this time. Uh, she did a lot of portraits, um, some self-portraits and some photos of protests that were happening during this time. And this is one here on the right uh, titled AIDS Quilt uh, in Washington, DC uh, in 1987. Um, and she was also part of the um, ACT UP group, which is the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power. Um, and it's a political activist group that helps to work, work to end the AIDS epidemic. Um, and she is also partially famous for her feature in their famous poster, Kissing Doesn't Kill, um, which she's featured here on the right. So um, she also has she has a lot of amazing series. Uh, I am going to link uh, the her website um, so you guys can go check out all of them. I'm just going to talk about two that I really enjoyed. This one, the first one here is titled Salt. Um, and in this, she uh, takes portraits of uh, all these women um, who are over 70 years old. Um, in their houses, in their studios, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it aims to address how society generally overlooks a lot of older women um, and aims to highlight the biases that remove these really important women from the public sphere. So these are just three from the series, Coho, Esther, <laughs> Esther and Maria. This other series that she does, or she just recently did in 2020, um, is called Syzygy the Vision. Uh, these two here are Spectre and Syzygy One. Um, and this, I included her artist statement just because um, it goes into much more depth and really beautifully written as well. Um, but in this series, she is addressing the African-American experience experiences and specifically her experiences as an African American um, and grappling with the inherited trauma that she has um, and the difficulties that they face um, as African Americans, um, but um, also kind of portraying a hope as well for the future. Um, 
So a really dynamic series. So as I said, this is her website right here. Um, you guys should definitely go check it out. She has multiple series that are all very powerful. Uh, she has a great um, interview with Dazed. Uh, also, they have an article on her. And then she also has an Instagram, at flash9 is her handle. And these are some of the things that I cited in my presentation. Uh, this is also a portrait of her, but not it's not a self-portrait, um, but I thought it was beautiful nonetheless. So that is all I have on Lola Flash, um, but thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Uh, we won't have any in the month of July, but come back in August and uh, there will be more of these. Um, thank you, bye.